Mark here. In this video, I'm going to be ranking um, Black Sabbath Ozzy albums. So the years that Ozzy Osbourne was singing for Black Sabbath. And uh, I'm going to be rating them from my least favorite to my most favorite. Uh, first one, my least favorite, 13. This album just didn't do it for me at all. He sounded sad, old, I don't know, just... His voice wasn't up there. The music just didn't do anything for me. Least favorite. Technical Ecstasy. Again, I don't think it's, my opinion, as bad as 13. But I don't know if he was just getting tired of the band or the band was getting tired of him or he was using too much drugs. But... I love the album cover. I've always loved this since I was a kid. I always thought it was interesting, weird, trying to figure out what the hell's going on. But, you know, I, I, I thought it was a great album cover, gatefold. These, most of these are reissues, so this is a reissue. Love the album cover, not so much the music. Never Say Die. Again, this one just didn't do it for me. Just kind of lackluster. Masters of Reality had a lot of good songs on it. A lot of songs that I remember as a kid. Just when I went through all of these albums, one by one by one, starting with his first one, going all the way to his newest one, um, there were just, you know, listening to the music on them, I found that, you know, I had favorites on some of these earlier albums but just overall um the album didn't do it for me so i can't say there's a lot of great songs on it i'm not saying that this is probably going to be the one that pisses the most people off if people want to get pissed off at a video and me in my opinion uh the debut album um again a lot of great memorable songs on here just not in the top three or four Volume 4. Uh, um, see, now we're at number 4. Y you know, just just clicked with me a little bit better, having not listened to a lot of these in years, decades. Um, this is, again, a reissue. Um, this is Sabotage. This is the only copy I have. It's upside down. It is the Super Deluxe Box version. So, this would be number 3. Number two, Sabbath Bloody Sabbath, reissue on 180 gram, and again, just, this would get the silver medal, and then the gold medal goes to Paranoid, just awesome album, I've got two of them, I've got one with the green label and one with the palm trees, just this is definitely my favorite. This gets the gold medal. Top of the list for me. Um, pretty much the whole album is great all the way through. So, anyway, like I said, a lot of people aren't going to agree with me. That's my opinion. Your opinion's your opinion. Um, you get pissed off at me, that's fine. I don't care. Anyway, um, I don't think you're going to get pissed off at me. I don't think there's any reason to do that because I'm just shooting my mouth off and giving my opinions. And if you like it, you like it. You don't, you don't. I really don't give a crap. All right. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, my opinion, binge listening, Black Sabbath, The Ozzy Years. Um, I don't have all of the Sabbath. I've got it through Dio, and at some point I'll probably do... Um, Dio stuff, so starting with Elf, Rainbow, Sabbath, and then his solo stuff. But I have to get all of his stuff. I don't even have, you know, I've got most of it on vinyl, but I'm still, I still have some gaps between the vinyls and the, the vinyl. I don't like calling them vinyls, the the records and the CDs. So anyway, um, my opinion. Hope you enjoyed the video and. I plan on doing more of these, so hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Goodbye.